both for the writer who likes to build a story around the plot, and also for the writer who's terrified of plot, the plot progression area has a lot of useful tools. Here's a brief overview of what this window is designed to do. It gives you an opportunity to see the entire layout of your plot chronologically, from beginning to middle to end, and it does this for four key through lines, the objective story, subjective story, main character, and obstacle character. To get to the other end of it, you need to scroll along on most screens because there's a lot of information here and it can't all be crammed into one window. You can also just click in the bar and it will bring you back to the other side pretty quickly. Now unless you're already familiar with Dramatica theory, the choice of these four through lines might seem a little strange, and in fact you may want to work with other through lines of your own choosing. Unfortunately, this window is designed to only work with the Dramatica through lines, the four essential through lines, but there is a way to work around this. So before we show you what you can do using Dramatica's theory, let me show you how to use the window if you want to ignore the theory. Each of these little white areas underneath the unchosen term of the moment, you can double click and open up a window where you can put in whatever storytelling you want. And when you do and hit OK, it appears here. Then you can go on to the next item in that through line and type in some more information about what's happening there. And it will also show up. In this way, you can go through and list all of the key events of your story from the beginning to the middle of the end for any four lines you choose. You just ignore what it says in these color areas and deal with only the white areas. And that way it will give you kind of a graphic view of what's happening chronologically in your story. This approach of just putting things in order also works for an inspirationist writer who would rather follow the muse and do some storytelling before finding out what's structurally going on and then use what was written to help determine what's going on in the structure. But what this window is designed to do is to help you use the Dramatica theory to make sure you have a complete plot that not only has a beginning, a middle, and an end, but all of the necessary steps in between for each of the four key perspectives needed for an audience to examine a story from all the essential sides. The objective story is like the view of a general on a hill watching the dramatic battle down below. It's kind of standoffish. You care about what's going on, but you don't identify anything by name, like you don't see Joe on the field or Sally. You only see the foot soldier or the cook. You identify them by function, and it's in the objective story that we find the objective characters. The main character is if we could zoom down into the shoes of one of those soldiers on the field, we would then have the audience positioned in the middle of the fracas. And at that position, it's much more personal, much more passionate, and although you don't get the big overview, you really get a sense of what it's like to go through the troubles of the story. The obstacle character is that other soldier on the field who stands in the way of the direction the main character wants to go. It could be a friend trying to tell him don't step in the minefield or a foe that's trying to lead him into an ambush. The main character can't tell because he doesn't have this overview, this objective story view. So the main character must make a leap of faith to either continue on the course he's been taking or adopt the obstacle character's advice and switch to a new way of doing things. This battle, this personal skirmish between the main and the obstacle character takes place in the subjective story. So while up here in the objective story you'll see protagonist and antagonist battling out, here you'll see conflicting paradigms or belief systems being battled out in the heart line. The objective story is the headline of your story, the subjective story is the heart line. In a sense, this is about the main character, it's the I or me position. Obstacle character, we're looking at this opposing viewpoint. You, I, you. This is our story of how we relate, I and you, me and you. This is we, I, you and we. And finally, the objective story is looking at what all those other people are doing, they. You can get a sense then that Dramatica isn't really coming up with some bogus ideas. It's saying to fully explore what anything means, you need to see it in terms of I, you, we, and they. 